Hey guys, so it's time to finally set up the newest addition to the Texian ZA home network, the Eagle Pro AI R15, the AX1500 smart router from D-Link. So you've seen us review this and if you haven't seen the full review of it, links up there in the YouTube cards, right? Now, ideally what I would tell you is do most of your configurations that you can before you go and place this where it needs to be placed. But the unfortunate bit for me is that to configure this router or to set it up, there's no way it's gonna let me do that without actually connecting it to my active internet connection. So I am going to have to do that and connect to this router and then do the configuration. So let's go ahead and place this down and connect everything up to it and then start with the configuration. Okay, so you can see our home network is in a little bit of a shambles at the moment, but we'll work on sorting this out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finally retire our DIR825 it has been powered off for one last time. Um, you may notice that something's missing from here. That's why there's a big gaping hole here. The big gaping hole is our NAS and the NAS has been moved to my desk. Um, now, you may see me not replacing the power supply. That is because this is being powered by the Gizu 60 watt mini DC UPS, right? And if you haven't seen the review of that, links up there in the YouTube cards. So there's the Gizu uninterrupted power cable right here. I'm gonna plug that into my router because it D-Link uses the same port. I'm gonna plug my internet in, uh, which is coming from my ONT, and then I'm gonna plug in the rest of my uh, Ethernet cables, right? Three ports and now everything's full up. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to go back to my desk. So now that the device has been plugged in, it essentially should just start working as it is because I mean, that's how fiber works. The ONT does all of the funny things and your router just gives you access to the network. Uh, so now what I'm going to have to do is log on to the router and I have the password here. And now it prompts us with the full setup uh, configuration. So we are using this as a router mode. We're gonna click next. And the internet is connecting to our R15. It's detecting the internet. Um, Wi-Fi name. All right, I wanna keep my device up to date automatically and give me back all my information. Now the router is restarting. So once the router restarts, right, what I'm gonna have to do is now go ahead and configure other settings because remember now, our router was already performing a job and the devices on our network, like the NAS and like the server and everything have pre-existing IP addresses. So now we need to get the router's IP address to change to the same range that we are using in our home. Okay, so now the router is restarted. I'm gonna have to log in with my new admin password. And there we go. So the new firmware. I'm actually gonna leave this for a little bit, right? Now, coming back to the home feature, so as I mentioned, you can see by some of the options to pause internet and all of the settings here, there's much more features that we have with the R15 compared to using the M15, which are the wireless access points. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to network and from here, I'm gonna change the IP address of this router, right? So I'm gonna set it to what I need or what my previous router, the 825 was. 
right so here we got another restart okay second restart later um, now we can see clients are already connected and it seems like our M15s are also going to connect automatically so there's nothing much we need to do there uh, apart, apart from just reconfiguring the main router to act as an wireless access point uh, you can see we can see our connected clients and some of the features I mean parental control quality of service port forwarding and even management all of this can be done through the Eagle Pro AI app but I prefer doing this via the web interface all right so now um, I have connected the router that was acting or the the mesh router that was acting as a router and I'm logging into this and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually change this configuration so that it is just an access point now and now we can see all three of my range extenders are connected to the M15s um, there you go R15 there's that that and this one is connected there for some reason but I'll deal with that in a little later right all right so now that all of the configuration has been done and saved you can see if I log into the router now that all the configuration and everything has been done and saved if I log into the router you can see all of the range extenders well not all right now but it's picking up our range extenders that are now connected to the R15 and we can view all of the connected clients that are connected to the R15 and the range extenders so it also tells you the Wi-Fi bandwidth that it's on whether it's on the 2.4 or 5 gigahertz bandwidth and there's a whole list of other features that we can look at so guys as you can see it's as simple and easy as that to set up the R15 I have had quite a rather complex configuration of my R15 but essentially it was a plug play next 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 process and that's the favorite thing or that's my favorite thing about D-Link is the devices are simple easy to understand and there's no worry about anything with them so that sort of rounds us up hopefully this was a little bit of a short video uh, a big shout out to dealing South Africa for being the awesome brand that they are no attachments or anything I personally bought this device uh, as well as dealing actually sent me a review unit with the, the, the same lot which was a couple of days difference but that's a another story Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can let me know by giving a like rating if you did. If you aren't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss on any of our future videos. My name is Prashant and I'll catch you in the next video.